Good morning, friends. This is Russ Warren from the Office of Online Education. Coming to you today with a video on doing SBL acceptable citation style in Google Docs. Because this is one of those things that SBL, which is a child in some ways of the Chicago Turabian style, doesn't quite fit with how Google likes to do the footnotes. However, there are ways to get around that. So here we have a, an example of, of how if you just do a footnote and write it in, it will look like. And there's a, a couple of things that we're going to need to change about that. But first of all, let's go and look at what SBL is going to want from us. And the first thing to do with that is to look at the citation and formatting guide from Westminster Theological Seminary that uh, we have in every single Google Classroom in the general resources section towards the bottom. And if you open this up, this is the SBL style guide condensed into a much smaller format, makes things much, much easier than getting the SBL guide and then going from there. But if we were to go to page seven, where they talk about footnote layout, or footnote format, they call it, we see a couple of things. One is that there is an indent here between the, the first line. Uh, it's sort of like the opposite of what you see in a bibliography. Instead of the first line being all the way to the edge and subsequent lines being indented, the first line is indented and everything else comes to the edge. So that's the first thing that we're going to have to change. The second is that notice between these footnotes, there is a space. So those are the two major things that are wrong with the paper that we have that we're gonna now fix. So let's go do that. All right, over on this paper. So the first thing we want to do is we want to highlight the footnote that we're working on. It will only let you highlight one footnote at a time. So we're gonna have to do this piecemeal, which is unfortunate, but it is how it is. So the first thing we want to do is we want to indent that first line. And to do that, we're going to go up to the indent bar, uh, the margin bar up at the top. And you'll notice there are two things. There's a left indent and then the one at the top, the first line indent. So we're going to want to grab that and bring that over to 0 0.50. And there we go. Now it is uh, formatted the way we want it to. Let's do that with uh, the rest of these as well. just like that. Now we need to add a space. And so if we hit return, it's gonna do just that for us at the end of every line, just hit return. And now you're good to go with how your footnote should work and should look in SBL. 